the new Passat has a lot to live up to. Previous generations have won many awards for their towing ability. Does today's Passat pick up where the old car left off? We're driving the 2.0-litre TDI Estate in SE business trim. Equipped with Volkswagen's DSG transmission, the car has a curb weight of 1,541 kilograms. That makes it lighter than the old Passat and gives an 85% match figure of 1,310 kilograms. The legal towing limit is two tonnes. Almost all new cars these days are lighter than their predecessors to improve fuel economy and drive down emissions. For us caravanners, that's not such good news, as lighter cars mean compromised stability, at least in theory. In the Passat's case, the reality is rather different. The new car is every bit as stable as the old one at motorway speeds, even on a day like today when it's really wet and windy. In an emergency manoeuvre, the Passat shows its class, gripping strongly and keeping firm control of the caravan, even in wet weather. The 2.0-litre TDI engine has 148 brake horsepower and 251 pounds-feet of torque. There are more powerful versions if that's not enough, but this engine coped easily enough, towing a Sprite Major weighing 1,241 kilos. It pulled car and caravan from 30 to 60 miles per hour in 13.7 seconds. It's economical too. Volkswagen claims 62.8 mpg on the combined cycle, and we achieved 30.4 mpg, towing on a mix of A roads and country roads. As well as its stability and strong performance, there are other signs the Passat has been made with caravanners in mind. Every car has trailer stabilisation as part of the car's stability control system to help prevent snaking, and there's a clever new system to help drivers reverse. It's called trailer assist, and here's how it works. So, more hitched up to a caravan, put the car into reverse, a message appears on the screen asking me if I want to start trailer assist, which I do, so I just push on this button here. The system puts in a little steering input which allows the reversing camera on the car to judge the length of the trailer. I then select which direction I want to turn in and how far I want to turn using the mirror controller as a joystick, and then off we go. I control the speed, at which the car reverses, but the system takes care of all the steering for me. The driver still needs to show some skill and judgment in deciding when to engage the system, but it's clever stuff nonetheless. Inside, the Passat's fit and finish rivals that of more expensive, premium badged rivals. There's plenty of space too, with enough room for adults to travel comfortably in the back. Luggage space is class leading. With the rear seats upright, there's a massive 650 litres. That's easily more than the new Ford Mondeo and even beats the Skoda Superb. Levers either side of the tailgate fold the seats down for even more space. There's no denying that the Passat is lighter than the old car, so matching ratios aren't quite so favourable. But it's stable, comfortable and economical. What more do you want from a tow car? 